Now let's take a look at a different type of culture altogether. We're going to look at Latin America. There are some really unique ways to celebrate the new year there. They want to start the new year off well. When you start something off in a certain way, it just means that's how you begin it. You definitely want to start off the school year well. You don't want to get a bad grade the first test you take, right? Right. Well, they want to start off the new year well. So they want to get a good start. They want to feel hopeful that that following or coming year will be very happy and successful for them. To start something off is our sentence for you. Let's take a closer look. Sentence for you. Start off. Timmy, will you play with me today? No, I can't. I'm going to start off my day by playing soccer. Oh, okay. Will you play with me today? Sorry, I have to start off my day by doing some work. Oh, okay. Mommy, will you play with me today? Maybe later. I have to start off my day by doing some washing. Uh, nobody wants to play with me. Maybe they've forgotten that it's my birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! We wanted to start off your day by giving you a surprise party. So they have some special ways in which they start off the new year or start the new year off. You could also say it yes. that way. This again is in Mexico and it involves your underwear which is the clothing you wear underneath your shirt My and underwear. your pants. My underwear? Yes, your underwear. We're talking right. about underwear on our program? Why not? Don't be so uptight, oh. okay? Because underwear is something that everybody wears. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Okay. And the Mexicans are not ashamed of their underwear. Mm -mm. And I guess they wear different colors they of do. underwear to sort of determine how they want the new year to be. Yeah. Now, the colors mean different things. If you wear red underwear that day, you want luck to come your way. So red underwear equals luck for the new year. Now, what if you wear yellow, Tom? Do you if, have yellow underwear? Mm, not that I know. <laughs> but, well, now that I know why the Mexicans wear yellow underwear, I might get myself a pair or two as a result of that. Mm -hmm. Yellow underwear means that you want to have a lot of wealth. Ooh. Wealth, of course, means lots of money, a fortune. Uh, of course, in Chinese society, red is the color of wealth. Yeah. It, but I don't know if the Chinese wear red underwear on Chinese New Year or New Year's Day, but at least the Mexicans wear either red or yellow underwear. I wonder what happens if they wear blue underwear or green underwear hmm. or white underwear. I don't know, but I would stick with red or yellow. Those both sound really great to me. Hmm. Of course, I'd have to buy the uh, yellow underwear. I don't have any. Oh. Okay, enough hmm. about underwear. Okay. Now, another thing that they do, one of their traditions that takes place at midnight. Remember, midnight is 12 o'clock a.m., not p.m. That's the middle of the day. So at midnight, and you have to stay up kind of late, right? Mm -hmm. They really eat 12 grapes fast, as quickly as they can, and that's part of the tradition. Uh, it's very interesting. They eat these grapes, and while they're doing that, they make a wish. So you have to pop 12 grapes into your mouth, eat them as quickly as possible, at the same time, you're making a wish for the upcoming year. Mm -hmm. So maybe these 12 grapes represent each month of the new year. Maybe. So they eat these 12 grapes. And that makes sense because yeah. grapes are used to make wine. 
and they're very good for you too if you eat grapes. They're tasty. So good for the Mexicans on that and they eat those grapes as quickly as they can. Now we're still in Latin America. Mexico is in Central America. Mm -hmm. We're going to go down to South America right. now to the country of Venezuela. Venezuela of course is the country with Caracas as its capital. Lots of famous baseball players come from Venezuela as you know and in Venezuela people commonly write down their New Year wishes on a letter or in a letter, okay? So they commonly do this. If something is common, it happens quite frequently. Sounds like it's a very strong tradition if it's commonly done, meaning a lot of people do this. So they get a piece of paper, they write down all their goals or their wishes for that year, and then instead of putting it away and reviewing it throughout the year, they do something a little different. They burn the letter. So they destroy it. They take a match and they light up that letter and it burns. But the fact that they're burning the letter is part of the tradition and that's supposed to help their dreams come true. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's similar to Chinese tradition where you burn paper money right. to send money to your ancestors mm -hmm. in the other world. And it might be the same kind of concept here. If you burn it, mm -hmm. it means the likelihood of those things happening increases. They'll probably happen uh, faster than if you just leave it sitting there. Okay, that's all the time we have for the first part of our lesson right now, everybody. It's time to listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be right back.